Do you want to start bullet journaling in the new year but have no idea where to begin? Well today I'm going to show you the perfect place to start. Hello everyone, my name is Carrie Walker and I am so excited to announce that I have created a digital planner and bullet journal spreads for all of 2023. As a lot of you know, I've been bullet journaling since March of 2021 and I've sold monthly bullet journal spreads on my Etsy shop, but I'm so excited to say that for 2023, I have created an entire year's worth of bullet journal spreads that you can get. This is the perfect way to get into bullet journaling if you don't know how to make the spreads yourself or if you just don't have the time to make them. So you can either get a digital planner version, which is meant for like an iPad or tablet, or you can get a printable copy that you can print out and use however you like. Both versions include yearly spreads, monthly spreads, and weekly spreads. I'll talk about the printable version at this timestamp, but for now we're going to talk about the digital planner. So the digital planner is a PDF download that is meant to be used on something like an iPad or a tablet, and that's probably what I'm going to be using in 2023. These are all of the spreads that you get when you use the digital planner, and as you can see, they're double-sided as if it were like an open book so that you can see both sides at once. When you get the digital planner, you get five different files to download. There are some tips and instructions, the yearly spreads, and then the monthly spreads are split up into three different files. There's January through April, May through August, and September through December. As you can see, the three of these are in zip files, but you just click on them to unzip them like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the other ones as well. Once you download the spreads, you can use them however you like, but I personally recommend using the app GoodNotes. So if you go into the spreads, you can see all of the ones that you get. These are the yearly ones. And you can actually download them straight into the GoodNotes app by clicking this button right up here. And you can see it says open in GoodNotes. And you can just import it as a new document. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the other ones as well. So as you can see, they're all separated right now. And you can choose to either combine them all into one long yearly spread, or you can separate them all individually into their own separate months. So first, I'm going to show you how to combine them all into one long yearly document. So since these are the yearly spreads, I'm going to have this one be the starting document for the entire year long spread. So I'm going to go into the January and April one. And if you look up here, this button with the four squares, you get a preview of all of the spreads. And I'm going to go select and then hit select all so that it selects all all of the pages and then I'm gonna hit copy once they're copied I'm gonna hit done in the top right close this out and then I'm gonna go back into my starting yearly spreads once I'm here I'm gonna go back to the four squares at the top hit this plus page button and then you can click paste pages and as you can see they've all pasted into this spread now and you have them all in the document and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the May through August spreads as well. So again, I'm going up to the top left with those four squares, select and then select all. I'm going to copy the pages, hit done, close out, and then go back into that yearly document. I'm going to go back up to those four squares, hit add pages, and then paste the pages. And then those ones are there. And then last but not least, I'm going to go back and do the September through December ones. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete these since I have them all in one document. And then there's a good quick access that you can have for all of January, February, and then the rest of the months. So you can use this to easily scroll through or you can also manually swipe through them all on your own. You can also zoom in if you'd like so that you can write things. And also I recommend using the horizontal swiping. I just think it's a little bit easier that way. And you can do that by going up to these three dots in the right hand corner and click on scrolling direction and choosing horizontal because if you have it on vertical you can see that it looks like this which some people might prefer but I just think it looks a little bit neater to have the swiping and it feels like you're turning pages so here you can see all of the spreads and then I'm gonna go back to the horizontal swiping but if you wanted them all separate in their own individual months as separate monthly documents you can go in to the files go back to the four squares in the top and you can manually select whichever ones you want so let's say I'm going to select January like this. I'm going to copy those pages. I'm going to close out. And then instead of adding pages to the document, I'm going to add them here. I'm just going to start a, a new notebook here with a regular piece of paper. And then I'm going to do that same thing where I go up to the top left with the four squares, add pages and paste those pages. And then I don't really want this extra piece of paper. So I'm just going to go to the top right and delete that page. As you can see now, I have all of January just in one, and you can also retitle this. So instead of just having it untitled, I'm gonna say it is January. And then you can go ahead and do this for all of the months, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now. So this is what it looks like when you separate all of the months. You can see there's the 2023 spreads, which I'm just gonna rename to 2023, right like that. And then I have the rest of the months. And you can see since I just edited the 2023 spreads, it pulls it up to the top. Also, I wanted to point out that at the end of the spreads, you can see that there is a generic weekly layout and you can duplicate this page as many times as you want by copying it and then pasting this page. 
So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to add a page and paste it so that you can reuse it for however many weeks that you want or each month. And then as for actually writing on the spreads, you can just use like all of the different colors that you want and then you can zoom in write things. You can also go to one of these spreads and use like the highlighter. Let's use purple since this is the month of grapes. There we go. Zoom in and so let's say I did whatever habit I chose this to be. You can go ahead and like highlight it or you can color in the whole box. You can do whatever you like and the highlighter tool just allows you to color it in without drawing over top the image. So like if I were to use like the pen instead, you can see that it would like cover up what the image is, whereas the highlighter goes behind it. Again, this is what I plan on using for 2023. However, if you like a physical bullet journal or you don't have an iPad or whatever your reason may be, there's also a printable version. So you get all of the same spreads, which you can see here, but as you can see, the format is slightly different because it's meant for you to print out. So you're still getting a digital PDF when you get the spreads, but they're meant to print out on your own rather than using them digitally like the other version. So if you choose to get the printable one, you can either get a colored version or a non-colored version. I decided to make this option in case you wanted to color it in yourself and make it a little bit more personal the way you like it. Plus coloring is just really therapeutic and fun in my opinion. So for both versions, the colored and the non-colored version, you'll get three files, some tips and instructions for printing, a long PDF of the entire year that has all of the yearly spreads and the monthly spreads. It's in a zip file, but all you do to open it is just click on it and then it'll all download just like this and then there's also a generic weekly layout that you can print out as many times as you'd like so that you can use it throughout the year and again there's a colored and non-colored version so that you can print it out with color already there or you can print it out with no color and do it all yourself some ideas of how you can use them is you can hole punch them and put them in a binder you could even print them double-sided to save some paper and if you put them in a binder you can also get like monthly tabs so that you can separate each month you can also have them more freestanding and loose and put them in different folders you could have different folders for each month or maybe you want to staple them to together or you could even resize the pages in your printer settings so that they can fit inside of your bullet journal if you want to tape or glue them in. Really quick I wanted to go a bit more in depth on the different spreads that you'll be getting and this is for the digital or the printable version they're all the same spreads. So the yearly spreads have a cover page and the words of the year surrounded by some fruit and then there's also a year at a glance just so that you can see the monthly layouts of each month. You can also highlight individual days if you want them to stand out to you. This is a year in pixels and your yearly goals so you can have different kinds of goals whether it be fitness, mental health, nutrition, whatever you want, and then write your individual goals. And then this is a daily rating. So you can color coordinate these stars. So you can do like one star could be pink, two stars could be blue, five stars could be yellow. And then each day you rate it one through five stars. So if I had a five star day on January 1st, then I would color this one in with yellow if my five star rating was yellow. And then by the end of the year, you can see how many days you had with different ratings. And then there are important dates. So here you can highlight individual days that are important to you and you can also write down what you have on each date, whether it's doctor's appointments, birthdays, whatever it may be, just so that you can see them all in one spread. There's also an income tracker and growth tracker. So when I use this, I'm gonna be splitting it up for my different streams of income, writing how much I made per stream of income and then adding up the total at the end of the month. And then at the end of the year, you can see how much you made. For the growth tracker, I'm gonna be using this to track my social media growth since I have that as a job. So I'll be tracking my followers and subscribers on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube every single month and seeing how much I grow over the year. But if you don't have that, you can also use this as like a growth in literally anything else. So if let's say you're really into fitness and working out, you can keep track of like your monthly goals for fitness or maybe you have a specific thing you want to work on each month. You could count how many days you journal every month, how many days you stay consistent with bullet journaling and how you grow through that. Maybe you're getting mentally stronger and you want to just write little notes about how each month went. And then now getting into the monthly spreads. Each month is set up the same way but has a different fruit theme. So January is lemons and you can see it has a January 2023 cover page. It also has a calendar where you can write important things that you do each day. You can use it for planning if you want. Personally, I like just writing like a big event that happened each day. Moving on, we have a habit tracker and a mood tracker. So you can write six different habits and then you can see if you did them each day. So for example, you could say take your vitamin and you just highlight which days you take your vitamin. You could also do wake up at 8 a.m., drink three bottles of water, go on a walk, write in your journal, spend quality time with someone, whatever you want your habits to be. You can literally choose whatever you want. And then for the moods, you just monitor your moods throughout the month and it's 
shaped like the calendar so this is January 1st and so on and so forth and so you can come up with your different moods for the month and then color coordinate what you want it to be then we have a water tracker and a sleep tracker the water tracker has the days of each month and then you can color in how many cups of water that you drank each day and then for the hours that you slept you just highlight which hours you slept so if you went to bed at midnight and you woke up at 8 a.m you would just go ahead and highlight those days just like that and then you can also rate your energy level one through five throughout the day and how you were feeling then we have a spending tracker so you can write the date where you spent something what you bought and then the amount that it cost and then at the end of the month you can add it up and see how much you spent and if you want you can add this into your income tracker in the yearly spreads to then see how much you made overall including what you spent throughout the year and then there is also a highlight of the day so every single day you can write something that just made your day or even just a little moment that made you smile and then last but not least we have the weekly spreads so it's just a generic layout that you can copy paste to use however many times you want if you want you can even write the specific day so you could write one for Sunday two for Monday since it's January 1st and then when you copy paste the page you can just go ahead and write whatever the next week is so the next week would start with an eight and you can do it like that and then you can just write what you have going on each day your weekly to do's whatever you want so all of these bullet journal spreads are up on my Etsy shop and the link is in the description and the comments or you can just search shop Carrie Walker on Etsy as for the pricing for all of these yearly spreads they are significantly cheaper than my monthly spreads and that's just because I wanted to give you guys like a good deal since you're buying all 12 months at once so if you look at the individual month prices from like last year compared to the entire yearly package you're pretty much getting like a 50% discount on all of the spreads which is a really good deal if you ask me I have been putting my blood sweat and tears into these bullet journal spreads so I really really hope that you guys enjoy them I wanted to say thank you in advance to those of you who buy the bullet journal spreads and as always I really really appreciate you guys supporting me because I seriously could not do this without you all and I am so grateful and appreciative that your support helps allow me to continue pursuing my passion also make sure to follow me on TikTok or Instagram where I'll be posting updates of me filling out these spreads in 2023 but anyway I hope you all have safe and happy holidays happy bullet journaling and I will see you all in my next video bye guys Whoop-a-choo.